Today I want to show you some internet tricks to help you uh, do a research paper. First, uh, here's my suggestions on how to pick a research topic. Find something interesting. Pick something you know something about but that you want to learn more. So I chose sushi. Sushi is something I know a little bit about but I'd love to know a lot more. First, what I would like you to suggest you do is go to MobyMax. Choose Research Writing in MobyMax. And with MobyMax, the reason why is with MobyMax you can add to your story at home. If you start your typing in Word, then you have to transfer your file, uh, which is a little trickier. So if you start typing in MobyMax, then you can add to it anywhere. And then when you're done, we'll transfer it back to Word to print it. What I would suggest you do first in MobyMax is type what you may already know about this topic, something from your personal experience, and I'll show you in a minute. And then I would suggest you get out paper and pencil and make a list of the questions you want to learn more about. For example, for sushi, I said, why seaweed? Because it's covered with seaweed. Are there other things to wrap it in? Do they really use raw fish? Are there some dangers to that? I have heard that sushi can get expensive. What is the most expensive sushi and why? And who eats the most sushi? Those are questions I'm curious about. Then I would suggest with your Moby Max writing on your screen, then click on the next tab and go to google.com. I'm going to show you how to make a split screen by clicking on the gray stripe at the bottom of the screen. You're going to choose stack windows side by side so that you have one window that has Moby Max for your writing and one window that you can do your searching. Then you're going to move and adjust those windows by clicking on the top ribbons to move them around so that you can research and type all on the same screen. And start searching and add your notes to Moby Max. Here's how. First, go to the internet. Whoops, sorry. Go to the internet. And go ahead and log in to Moby Max with your uh, login. And then go to writing. When you go to writing, choose research writing one or you could choose any of these, nonfiction writing one or nonfiction writing two. But actually, stick with research writing one because in research writing one, under your instructions, it will show you how to cite your sources when you use an internet source. And you would use, you would type the author of the web page, the title of the web page, the web address, copyright date, and the date found. Here's an example Sue Davis wrote this article. The article was called Think, or the web page, excuse me, the web page was called Think Quest Explorers of the L Millennium. And here is the web address. I just copied and pasted it. The date that this was published was 1998, but the date that it was found was April 30th, 2006. That's a sample citing of your resources, of your si sources from the internet. And you can find that under instructions. And then I would go ahead and start typing. Um, but first, actually, I would go ahead and start typing things you already know about your, your topic. So, these are some things. So, I'm going to start typing in just a second. Pause. Oh, I can't pause it. <laughs> 